Welcome back, Pod Squad. I'm Diksha, a first year resident in podiatry, and today I want to talk about PIM questions. What exactly are PIM questions? They're questions asked by residents or attendings to determine your knowledge base as a fourth year or a third year or a second year if you have your clinical rotations at that time. Those questions, it's a huge range of things. So there's a way to approach this. You can think of it as, oh no, if I miss this question, then it determines my worth as a person and everything's over and that's it, I can't recover. Or you can think of it as, wow, they're asking these questions, this is going to help me better remember and recall information in the future because for some reason it does work that way. And a lot of times that is exactly what attendings or residents are doing. They just want to teach you. They do of course, at the same time, want to determine your knowledge level and where you sit, of course. At the same time, you shouldn't fear the questions. I know how that is because I don't enjoy the process if I'm going to be wrong. <laughs> uh, but of course I, I understand and I benefit from it. And so at the same time, it's kind of fun. It's kind of a thrill to think about it, to question what you already know, to talk about your thought processes. What do you do when you don't know a question? The best way to answer a question is to explain your thought process around it. So say you totally guessed, that's fine, but explain your thought process behind why you answered the way you did. Because who knows, something along the way was off or maybe you were going the right direction, something just went wrong along the way. How else do you prepare for those questions? Let's start with the OR. Make sure you review your anatomy because a lot of anatomical questions will be asked of you uh, at the OR. Those are the easiest questions, as I've been told. You want to be answering those correctly. When you know you have a case the next day, read up on it or, or even ask. If someone didn't tell you, like you know you're going to the OR, but they didn't tell you what the case was, make sure you ask. So that way you can look it up. You can look up the anatomy about it, read up on it on McGlamoury's or you could even just look it up on Foot and Ankle Surgery Academy, or you can look it up on YouTube. There are so many options. Make sure you're taking advantage of that. Looking at PRISM, I know, you've probably already heard it a lot, but look at PRISM, look at walk-ins, do a little bit every day, and that should help you. Also looking over old lectures from PodSurge or any of your podiatry courses, that will help you tremendously. I wanted to make this as quick as possible. Do not fear pimp questions. They will happen regardless, and you will learn as you go. The more questions you're asked, the more you'll pick up on, the better you'll be, but you want, you want questions asked to you that you don't know. That's, I'm not gonna lie, I did enjoy that. I did, I do. I do because it teaches me the most. So yes, it's kind of a painful process because your ego's a little bruised when you don't miss it, when you don't um, you don't get a question correct, but you learn a lot from it. So, anyways, thanks for hanging in there, and hope you're all doing well. Uh, I'm in orientation right now, almost about to start residency in a few days. As you can tell, it's kind of late. I need to stop making these late night videos. But I hope you're all doing well and you enjoyed this. Make sure you hit the subscribe button and like the video if it helped. And uh, hit the bell icon. Take care, guys. Pod Squad signing out.